What is happening, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It is Range Day Bro with Energetic Armament here today to discuss the Vox S with you. So let's just get right into it. The number one thing that separates the Vox S from any other 7.62 or 30 cal can on the market today is gonna be the material it's constructed out of. The Vox S is a tubeless design and the entire baffle stack is CNC machined from C300. So for those of you who aren't aware, C300 is a marriaging nickel cobalt super alloy that has been used by NASA and other aerospace engineering companies for decades to build rocket motor casings. Energetic Armament is the first suppressor company to bring C300 to the suppressor world. It has extremely lightweight properties while still remaining extremely extremely heat resistant and strong under those high temperatures. In short, C300 has an incredibly high strength to weight ratio and I'll roll on this chart so you guys can see it. The extremely high strength ratio of the C300 allows this suppressor to remain ultra lightweight at just 12.9 ounces while not sacrificing durability. And because of using the C300 super alloy that we do on this can, we're able to make the walls slightly thinner, which not only optimizes weight savings, but also increases the internal volume, which leads to better sound suppression no matter what the platform is. Now, continuing on with the specifications, as all energetic armament suppressors are, this thing is Bravo mount compatible. Today, we are running it on the Sig Spear LT, chambered in 300 blackout. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but we have a direct thread taper adapter. So we do make a direct thread taper adapter if you want it to remain as lightweight and as short as possible, you can do that. But if you also wanted to throw Q Plan B on here, uh, Dead Air Chemo, Reardon Manufacturing, any of those Bravo compatible hub mounts will work with the suppressor. Now for me, I think it's really cool that we make a direct thread taper adapter because for these people who own Sig Spears and these types of tapered barrels, it is cool to have a shorter, lighter weight package if possible. Also those hub connections get very expensive. And so it's very cool to have a cheaper lightweight option that you could run on something with a tapered barrel. The Vox S ships with a removable front cap, which is wipe capable and it'll come with one wipe in the box. For those of you who don't know what a wipe is, it's an ultra high temperature silicone that sits in the front of the end cap and it leads to ultra quiet suppression when you're using subsonic rounds. Now, unfortunately today, I did not have a wipe in here or any subsonic ammo. So none of this footage being featured today in this video is actually subsonic or with a wipe. However, I can tell you from shooting this thing with a wipe with subsonic ammo, it is actually unbelievable. Now with or without the wipe, the tone of this thing is actually phenomenal. Obviously with the wipe and subsonic ammo, it sounds like a paintball gun, but with supers and without the wipe, it still is a very low, even tone. It sounds great. And I try to do my best to move the camera around with, to different positions with the microphone on the camera. So you guys can hear it from different angles, what it actually sounds like coming out of this six gear LT. Now, as we already mentioned, the Vox S comes in at 12.9 ounces. That is with the front cap with a wipe in it, as well as the direct thread mount, not technically the taper mount. The taper is a little bit longer. So I imagine it's a little bit heavier but with the standard direct thread and the wipe in the end cap, we're looking at 12.9 ounces. It has a length of 5.9 inches with the direct thread mount. The welded core, which we've already talked about, is made from the heat treated C300 nickel cobalt super alloy. The front cap is made from a heat treated stainless steel and the direct thread adapter is made from titanium. The suppressor is gonna come in a black nitride. However, the actual direct thread mount is gonna come in a high temperature graphite Cerakote finish. So what is the Vox S rated for? It's obviously rated for 7.62 or 30 cal. It's also rated for 5.56, 308, 300 blackout full auto, 300 wind mag, and 300 Remington ultra mag with no barrel length restrictions. So what can you expect in the box? The Vox S is gonna come with a 5 8 by 24 direct thread mount, a multi-tool wrench, which is gonna have one end for the front cap here and one end for the back of the direct mount itself. It's gonna also come with our Vox block, which slides over the suppressor itself. It's super handy. You can put it in the vise and very easily work on your suppressor. And it'll also include a packet of anti-seize instructions and decals. All right, guys, so let's just get down to the nitty gritty and let's talk about why you would choose the Vox S over so many other 30 cal options on the market today. So the number one reason I'm gonna give you for choosing the Vox S over the hundreds of other 30 cal options out there in the market is because of energetic armaments quality control. Suppressors are hard to get, you have to wait a long time to get them. So the last thing you want is to receive a defective product and energetic does everything in-house from start to finish, from the raw materials coming in the door, to the machining process, to the assembly, the welding, all of that is done in-house at Energetic Armament, and that is very important to us. Not even mentioning the warranty part, which we'll get into in a second with the serial ID ring, but that is very important to me as a consumer. And I think a lot of people out there can relate to how important that is to have everything done in-house uh, as we do with the Vox S here. Now, since we're on the topic already, uh, before we get into the way it sounds and the way it performed on this rifle and other rifles I've shot it on, let's talk about the warranty process. If something were to happen, if you're using a defective hub mount, for instance, and you were to get a baffle strike, Energetic Armament has a patented technology on the serial ID ring. So what this actually allows you to do is there's a little swage here. If there's ever an issue, you send it back to Energetic. A lot of times the UPS driver won't even leave because they'll come in, give us the can, we'll drill out that swage point, unscrew the serial ID ring, which is the technically the suppressor, thread it onto a new core. So you have a completely new core with a new finish and everything, thread it back on, 
re-swage the swage point and mechanically retain it to the suppressor itself. And then we'll give it back to the driver and they'll ship it back to you. So this is the absolute fastest turnaround in the industry as far as having warranty claims done. Again, the idea is you'll never need a warranty claim. However, if you do need one, that serial ID ring ensures you won't be waiting weeks, months, or you know, I've heard of people even waiting years with other manufacturers to get their warranty claims back. But with Energetic's serial ID ring, that is no longer an issue. Another reason you might choose the Vox S over the hundreds of other 30 cal options out there in the market today is because it just works, especially for the size and weight that the C300 allows for. I've been shooting out here all day without ear pro and it sounds phenomenal, especially on a shorter 300 blackout running supers and for the weight and size of the suppressor itself. Efficiency is at the core of everything that Energetic Armament does. So is this the quietest can in the world? Maybe not, but is it the quietest can in the world for the weight and the size? We would argue it is. Another reason to choose the Vox S is because it comes standard with that wipe front cap. So if having a wipe is important to you, if you shoot a lot of subsonic 300 blackout or any other subsonic round that this thing is rated for, then that is included in the box. And then lastly, it is an extremely cost-effective suppressor for the weight, for the materials that we're using. It is still priced very, very competitively. So ounce for ounce, dollar for dollar, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a suppressor that outperforms this thing, especially for the size and the weight. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Any comments help, even if you're just talking crap in the comment section, guys. And if you guys wanna see anything specifically on the channel moving forward, please let me know down in the comments as well. I'm extremely happy and humbled to be working for Energetic Armament now, and I'm just very, very excited to continue to shoot and test their products. I hope you guys are too, and I'm looking forward to the next one.